Hi everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the Super Mario Kart line of toys by Kinex. Now, for anyone unfamiliar with Kinex, they're similar to Legos in that they're a construction toy where smaller parts are used to build a bigger object. With the Super Mario Kart line of Kinex toys, there are really two parts to talk about, the track and the racers. Let's start with the racers. The first thing to keep in mind is that there are actually two different types of racers. The standard racers, which work by pulling back the cart to wind the motor, and motorized racers, which run off battery. There are also a few motorcycle carts that aren't motorized at all. While the pullback racers are fun to build and look great, they aren't much fun on the track because they only travel a few feet on each pull, which means you'll need to wind them multiple times to get around even a short track. In general, if you're only looking to run your racers across the floor, the standard carts are fine. Otherwise, if you plan to race on a track, you're better off paying a bit more for the battery-operated carts. Now let's talk about the track. The pieces are made out of flexible plastic and connect by linking the pieces through interconnecting grooves and tabs which are locked in place using plastic pegs. There are a number of sets available based off of various locations and elements from the popular Nintendo series, but you'll likely want to start with a track pack, because the smaller trap sets contain very little actual track. They are intended to be built and added onto a larger track. The Super Mario Kart Connects racing set is a lot of fun, the quality is generally very high, and the prices are very reasonable. While younger children will enjoy watching the cars race, the recommended age of 6 and up is probably more accurate for children who want to build the track and racers, as there are a number of small parts and building can be tricky at times. 